What if I told you that on my first three months on Twitch, I've made over $3,000? Then I'd be lying, of course, because I haven't made anywhere near that, but I've still made quite a bit, and today I wanted to just be open and honest with you guys about how much that is and how I got as much money as I have so far in these short few months I've been on Twitch, and maybe just a few tips and tricks for everyone else out there who's also just wondering about what a new Twitch streamer can make when he's just starting out. Because while money isn't everything, it does allow you to make big upgrades to your stream, like something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Frank Garcia, and today, let's talk about money. So before we dive into the meat of what I'm sure you guys want to see, all the money and stuff I've been making, let's talk a little bit about who I am, how long I've been streaming, and just a few of my stats to give you guys an idea of how I've made my money and who I really am. So I started streaming on May 12th of this year, which means I've been going at it now for a little under three months, but the growth has been pretty great so far, especially considering I did not have any like famous Instagram or Twitter accounts beforehand. This was just raw charisma and talent, baby. Isn't that right, Bagel? Yikes. But essentially what I'm saying, guys, is I didn't already have a presence or an audience anywhere else. My YouTube channel was only at about 40 subscribers and I had no presence on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, any of those spots. So this is the story of someone starting at the very bottom and working their way up Twitch and seeing how far they can go at present time. Also, for anyone curious about my actual stats on stream, I average around 10 to 20 viewers per stream currently and have around 350 followers. So all these stats and money-making tips I'm gonna give you are from a streamer who's at around that range in his career so far. And while I've had my ups and downs these past three months, the growth has been phenomenal. And well, we're always having a fun time. Get this you, oh! Dude, I literally was about to restart the stream. You, you little shits. But yeah, guys, that's just a little bit about me and who I am as a streamer, at least in these last three months. But now let's get into what you guys all want to see. And that's how much does a new Twitch streamer really make? So hey guys, welcome to the stream setup. This is usually what we got going on while I'm gaming on stream. But what you guys are looking at on screen right now is actually just my Twitch analytics page and specifically my analytics for the first month that I got started on Twitch, May. So first up, what I wanna point out is I actually didn't get affiliate in May until towards more the end of May. As you can see here, the first bit donations and you know prime subs that I actually received were on May 30th. So most of the month of May, I wasn't getting much income from Twitch just because I was just starting out. But while you guys are seeing I made around $12 in my first month, what that isn't showing is I also got around $40 in donations to my PayPal in this period. And while that sort of donation has been steadily going down, I do wanna say in my first month, I made around 50 to 60 bucks, which was not bad at all and I was actually super excited about. But as you can see, this graph, didn't really start picking up till the end of May because that's when I really hit affiliate. What I wanna jump over to next though for you guys is actually my second month streaming and that's June of this year. So in June of this year, that's when things really started to pick up a lot. As you guys can see, in June, I actually made around $155 in bits and around $20 to $30 in donations as well for a total of around 180 to 190, give or take, total for that month. And as you guys can see, over that month, I was actually seeing quite a lot of growth. My average chatters had gone up a lot. My live views had grown tremendously. I had a bunch of new followers and a bunch of new subscribers as well. And as you can see on this graph, a lot of days I would get in between streaming, you know, five to $10 on some days as much as 58. As you can see on June 4th here, I got a lot of gifted subs. So I got almost a majority of my money this month just on one day. And don't worry, we'll go into breaking that down for you guys and like how you make money and where you make money. But for now, I just wanna give you guys a little bit of an overview of kind of actually what I'm making and just a big breakdown, right? So now finally though, what you guys have all been waiting for, this is how much I've made my third month streaming and basically, you know, the most recent month I've been streaming. And that's a little over $300. 
which to me is absolutely insane. I mean, I haven't even been on the platform for three months and I'm already getting this much support and this much love. Like, it's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. But yeah, guys, so this is where you can get as a Twitch streamer, even just three months in. And hell, I've seen people do way worse than this. I've seen people do way better than this. But overall, as you guys can see, another thing in my July income, as you can see, it's a lot more consistent. Across the entire month, I'm making way more money on every day. You see on June 3rd, I made, or July 3rd, I made $35. On the 9th, I made 58. On the 16th, I made 31. And then on the 31st, I made 19. So it's a lot more spread out and consistent, which is what you would want to see, you know, to have a more consistent income on Twitch. But yeah, guys, so that's the actual overall amount that I've made in each month that I've been streaming on Twitch so far. But what I want to go into now is a little bit more of a breakdown of where that money's coming from, how I'm using that money, and just like what it means to make money on Twitch and maybe how you can make more in your streams as well. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. So the first thing I want to go over based on my most previous month's income on Twitch is just actually a breakdown of where all of the money is coming from and like all of the sources of income where I'm bringing in cash. So you guys can see how Twitch streamers make the majority of their money. So guys, for the month of July, here's a little breakdown of where all my money was actually coming from. So on Twitch's end, the last month, I made around $32.55 from paid subscribers. And what those are, are just people that are willing to pay five, 10, or $25 a month to support their favorite streamer and get cool emotes and icons they can use in chat while watching. On top of this, I got about $14.97 from Twitch Prime subscribers, which are basically the same as subscribers, only they get it for free with an Amazon Prime account. On top of this, I also got $111.81 from gifted subs, which is when other people in chat are kind enough to buy a subscription for someone else so they can enjoy it on all the fun of all the emotes and just, you know, enjoy the community in chat. On top of this, my biggest source of income every month so far has been bit donations. And last month I made around $118.58 off of these donations. And for anyone who doesn't know what bits are, they're essentially just tipping for streamers. So if you enjoy what they're doing, you can say tip 100 bits, which would equate to $1. And last month I made almost $120 and just people tipping and just seeing my reactions to, you know, hearing a cool sound or just seeing them give me money. And the last source of income coming from Twitch on their side at least, is actually just around $33.20 from extensions. And more, exp more ex explicitly, in my case, this is an extension that allows people to donate bits to play cool sounds like the Star Wars Cantina song while I'm streaming. And, I've, and there I've made a less than my normal bit donations, but still quite a bit because people like to play sounds and or scare me on stream or things like that. So that's also been a big part of my income. On top of that, what you guys don't see as much in the Twitch UI is actually that I've made a little bit of money as well selling, for example, this new shirt that I made called the Bagel Pool Sweatshirt. So I've made around 5 to $10 this month just having people buy this shirt and check it out, which has been super awesome, by the way, guys. Link down below if you're, if you're interested in the shirt. But, and on top of that, I've also made around 5 to $10 through the Amazon Associates program, which basically gives people a cut of every purchase that people make when clicking your Amazon links. But yeah, guys, that's a breakdown of where all of my income came from this month, on top of around 5 to $10 in standard donations to my PayPal. So yeah, guys, that's where all of my money has come from so far. And as you can see, it's, it's interesting trying to build all of these different sources of income. And I, I would highly recommend any new streamers out there, you try and get as many places that income can come into you and flow into your account as possible. That way, you know, you have, you have more options going forward. Also, before you guys get too excited about making over $300 a month, you have to keep in mind the hourly rate as well. So for example, last month on Twitch, I streamed for about 69 hours. And when you take all of my income and divide it by that, you get around $5 per hour, which across the US is below minimum wage. So even though it's awesome to be making 300 per month, you gotta remember all the work I'm putting in as well. But yeah, guys, that's a breakdown of kind of all of my income, how much I'm making and where I'm making it from every month on Twitch so far. 
And really, I hope you guys enjoy kind of seeing where you can get even as a completely new streamer with no background or no fans before. And how much, how far you can get and how much you can make by just putting in the work and constantly trying to get better. Another thing I wanted to talk about though is actually delving into who's giving me this money and something that's interesting on Twitch that I want to talk about and that's whales. So for those of you who don't know what a whale is, it's essentially someone who gives a majority of your money over while everyone else just gives small spigots of money here and there. And for me, at least on my Twitch channel specifically, I've seen this in droves. So for instance, if you guys actually take a look at all of my bit donations last month, you can see a weird trend and that's, there's a lot of money at the top and not very many bit donations at the bottom. So to give you guys an idea of what I mean by that, every 100 bits on Twitch equals a dollar. So for example, if you see Haunt up at the top with almost 7,000 bits, that's almost 70 gifted dollars this month to me. And if you guys think back to what I was just talking about, I only made around $120 in bits this month. So yes, that means one person was over half of my bit donations in just the last month. And when you crunch my numbers down even further, you find that the top 10 donators over my entire life on Twitch so far have donated a little over 80% of all my income. Yes, you heard that right. I've had around 50 to 70 different people donate in total, but only the top 10 account for over 80% of that, which means almost all of the income I've gotten so far is coming from whales, boys. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's how much money I've made on Twitch in the last three months. And hopefully this is pretty eye-opening for anyone who does want to get a stream started or is in the middle of creating their stream and seeing how much someone else on the platform can really make within three months. Because I'm very happy with where we've gotten so far and the support's been unreal to be honest. And what I want you guys to remember too is everyone's channel is way different. I've seen channels with a lot more viewers than me and I've talked to them and they make a lot less than I have in these past three months. But I've also seen channels with the same amount of views as I have making over twice what I've done in maybe even shorter periods of time. For example, my sister, shout out to Super Psych on Twitch, actually has only been streaming for two months and in her second month of streaming, she made over $1,000. So honestly guys, try not to compare yourselves to other streamers like me or Bo Yenna too much, you know? It, it's really more about your own platform and where you grow organically. Because sometimes people might make a lot of money in the beginning, but it'll taper off. And sometimes people might make nothing in the beginning, but they'll grow to great heights later on. So what I can recommend to you guys the most is just try and improve on yourself month by month, because that's where you're going to see the most growth over time. And hopefully in the future, guys, we could do more videos like this, because I like being transparent with you guys about how much I'm making and where I'm putting that money as well. Hopefully I'll make a video on that next. Because at the end of the day, guys, while $300 per month is really awesome and it's great to see that so early on, that really isn't that much money. And at the end of the day, there's only a few people at the very top of Twitch that are actually making a livable income and something that, you know, they could do full time. So remember, if you are streaming, it's not about the money. It's about doing something you love that hopefully you can grow and you can get support. That way you can grow your brand and give more content to, you know, all of your fans. Because if I've learned anything on these last three months on Twitch, it's that if you put in the work and you show your fans that you genuinely care and want to get better and want to grow on Twitch, you will. And if you just focus on that, and make sure you're constantly being the best streamer you can, the money will follow regardless. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.